Eureka, look at this. Incredible. Now, I'm down on my knees and be very quiet. I found it, I found it. Hello. But look at this. This is the way Wayne taught us. There's a morel. One morel. We're gonna split this morel five ways with the other 10 that I picked. I'm gonna go back under there and I'll be back and we'll see how we do. Eureka, look at this. Incredible. Well, this is a treasure trove. Wayne was right, you have to get on your knees. It's just like prayer. You get more done on your knees than you do standing up. So I'm gonna break them off so we don't pull them up by the roots. Look at this. Wow. We have just made a great discovery. Trish and I have made a move into a rental property while we're awaiting moving into our home. And it's most exciting. We're on 14 acres. We have done some morel mushroom hunting. Uh, 14 today. And uh, here we have uh, these mushrooms. And I want to rinse them in salt water, mainly because I'm not going to do them fresh. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cook these. So here we're going to drain them off. And we're going to cut them. So I have rinsed these and uh, now we're going to just pat them dry and then we're going to flower them. I'm saving these for when our children come to visit and we can say, we're going to give you a treat you can't get anywhere else. In this area, 50 to $70 a pound. And, and you got to be pretty aggressive to go out and look for these things. If you really want to uh, enjoy morels in the winter, then dry them at about 140 degrees. I have a dehydrator, dry them, and then uh, reconstitute them with uh, hot water, and they'll come back to life, and then put them in your favorite recipes, and you will have the most wonderful tasting meal using morel mushrooms. So there's several ways to do it. I'm doing it so that my kids can enjoy them in a somewhat fresh manner. And I'm gonna throw it in here, and then I'm gonna shake it up. So here we have 14 morel mushrooms, lightly floured, and they're going in the freezer. And then I'll separate them out tomorrow. Maybe I'll put them in my food saver bags because it could be six months before the kids arrive. You know what, I just couldn't wait. I went ahead and decided to just fry up a few of them. I went out and found three more. And it just didn't seem right to have three, uh, you know, was out there all by themselves, so I decided to eat them. So I mixed a little olive oil with the butter and uh, kind of brown them on each side. Wow, that tastes like steak. Man, I'm not gonna tell anybody about these things. Wow, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, all right there in one spot. It just pays to be on your knees. We should pray more. 